Hello, we are RJC Productions. And welcome to our video. Yeah, so we read the book, The Design of Everyday Things by Don Norman. And in the book, the first chapter, they were all like, mm, doors are a great part of experience, architecture, and user design. Because usually in the way that the doors are designed, you don't need a push-pull sign because you can just kind of know how to use a door. Usually. Intuition. But then we were walking around campus and we realized that that's not always the case, as we see people run into doors quite frequently. Like Liz here, she runs into doors a lot. I'm a senior and this is my fourth year running into doors at Stewart Center, so we're gonna go and take you around and show you how crappy the doors are here. Okay. Knock, 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 knock on my door. You can knock some more. I'll keep knocking right along with you. To the sound that I hope is used to tap my fingers and it'll snap yours. Then we'll stop the floor. Sing along to a melody. Even if we're a tiny little bit. So first, the way that your hand would normally grip this would be like, oh hey, pull it, you know? You can't pull it because it's a push door. But what about this? Screams that you would push and not pull. And they don't have it labeled anywhere. But then, get this, get this, come here. Come, 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 come. Come, come. See, from the other side, It is a pull door. So if you frequent this building often, if you frequent this building often, you get confused about whether to push or pull. You know? And for example, so the pull makes sense here because you do pull it, but it doesn't make sense on the other side. They remedied this on the outside doors though because they apparently knew that people were confused because you would never pull on this, you would push. You know? I don't know. That's all. I hate this place. So Devin, tell us about these doors. Okay, these doors are way too heavy for someone to open. I don't know how a person's supposed to open them without putting their whole body against the door and pushing it like this. It's just ridiculous. They need to get rid of it. They need to make it easier. Can you demonstrate opening the door one more time? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, um, so what we're about to do is go to Pebblon, which is the building just ahead of us. And what we're really looking to investigate is how would someone who is in a wheelchair, how would they have to go about getting into this building? And so we are going to investigate that. We are obviously not handicapped or anything, but we are exploring how they would. As people who are abled, we want to explore people who are differently abled and see how they do that. So uh, currently I don't see any way to get into the front of the building. So maybe we can get in the back. On me, please, thank you. Let's go this way. Come with me as we go on an expedition. I see something. I see something. In an alleyway. <laughs> Come on! Like five minutes to find, and this is not hard. Can we get a panel of where we are right now? We're in the middle of nowhere. I I don't know where on campus we are right now. No one's here. No one knows what's going on. So this is our issue I present to you today, is that it took us five minutes probably to find this door. And thankfully, we're able to just walk through the front door, but someone who needs something like this, they have to hunt for that. And that's not okay, and that's not necessary. Okay, you know, one thing about these doors, you don't know where the hinges are. Right? Keep yes. going. You kind of have to guess which side to push on because I can't clearly see the hinges from the side. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. That's actually kind of true. Sometimes I push on the wrong side of the door and then I hurt myself. Yeah. So these doors aren't as great as they are. That's sad. To walk. <laughs> oh my gosh, look! 
a random stranger. Hi. I was wondering, do you have any opinions about these doors? Um, yeah, they're double doors, and so they're very convenient because okay. I can enter from the right and somebody can enter from the left. And we cannot mesh into each other, so I like that. So you think you should always enter a door from the right? Yeah. Why do you think that? I mean, that's a U.S. custom that I have got used to because uh, there's right-hand side driving here. I usually enter from the left, and I've seen a lot of like immigrants like running through each other. Uh, I see. I see. Hmm. Thank you for your time, kind stranger. Thank you. I hope we don't mesh into each other. Ah, so the person I just talked to, the kind stranger, he pulled up a really good point pun intended again. So, these doors, if you enter from the right, you obviously are meant to grab it by the right and then it opens to the right, which means it's regulating traffic flow. Because if I'm over here, it literally feels unnatural. I have to go out of my way to get into the door from the wrong side. What kind of question do you need? Just answer the question. Okay. <laughs>